Okay, so quite a tragic one. A Sharjah taxi driver was arrested after trying to molest two teenage girls. Now, a taxi driver in Sharjah has been arrested by the police for attempting to sexually assault two girls in his taxi. And the two passengers, aged 13 and 15, were unaccompanied by their parents at the time of the incident. Now, the father of one of the victims lodged a complaint uh, stating that his 13-year-old daughter and her friend were on their, way, on their way back home when the taxi driver attempted to touch them inappropriately. So the police swiftly located the taxi and apprehended the suspect um, in a remarkably short period of time as well. According to the authorities, he has admitted to committing the crime. So the Sharjah police have highlighted that parents of the girls were aware that they were traveling without adult supervision and they urged guardians to prioritize the safety of young individuals, emphasizing the safeguarding children is a collective responsibility. And uh, as much as we know this country is so safe and there are good and bad people everywhere, like you'll have amazing uh, experiences where, you know, like maybe you're stuck and they like the taxi drivers will help you out or like uh, just... You know, strangers will help you out, but then mm-hmm. you can have horrible experiences as well. It's just about, you know, like wrong place, wrong time. But whatever it, be, uh, you know, whatever it may be, you just have to always be so vigilant, especially with kids. Yeah. When they come into play. Yeah, but like in situations like these, I don't think you can necessarily, like you can be vigilant to an extent because obviously you as a parent, you're not with the girls. Yeah. Um, and it's just like, It's tragic because that's something that they'll have to live with, you know, yeah. like no matter how extreme or how far the taxi driver went, it's still going to be something that is going to impact the girls forever. 100%. And it's nice to see how the police were so, so swift. Yeah, exactly. Because now, especially with taxi services offering rise to children going to school and the whole carpool situation, like you yeah. want that reassurance that your kids are in safe hands. Exactly. It's like at least that assurance is there to the parents that, oh, we have lodged a complaint and the person who has done this to our kids or has, you know, like put them through this trauma Mm -hmm. is now going to be apprehended and away from harming any other children out there. So that is amazing on the, you know, just the charge of police's part. Uh, yeah. But of course, that reminder is uh, just there, you know, like when it comes to children, be super, super safe and careful with them and just be aware of their whereabouts. And I know like this situation, like Shahir said, you really can't do anything much. Like you're sending them in a cab and that too, like two girls together. And it's like, how much can you really protect them? You know, at exactly. some point, it's like something, anything could go wrong. And that's what's really the biggest fear for parents. And it's not like... Obviously, a location-based thing. This can happen anytime, any place, anywhere. Yeah. But again, like the reassurance that the police are on it is what you need yeah. to like move forward. And that's where I think the fear of law is so important because countries yeah. that have like where residents and citizens <clears throat> have the fear of law, that's where crime rates are much lower compared to countries where there is you know like no yeah. fear of it, like where people know they can get away with it because that's what really stops people from committing these kinds of crimes. Not so true. Like. <clears throat> the same can be said about gun law in the U.S. and like there is no fear surrounding that, you know. So yeah, true. people aren't like how far is the Ten Amendments, Ten Commandments? What are they? Yeah, Ten Amendments. Ten Amendments. Yeah, like how far is that going to get you? Because like everyone's in fear and there's terror and there's all of these things that come with having such lenient laws in a sense. Exactly. Whereas the fear of law at the same time for us is that's instilled within you and. Yeah. You know, you're going to be safe and you know the people around you are going to be safe. So I totally agree with that. Very true. And it's like with this uh, case, you see this happening and you're like, you know that the taxi driver has like straight away, he's been, you know, uh, persecuted for his actions. Yeah. So anyone else even thinking of following suit will know for a fact that if, you know, like if they go ahead with this kind of behavior, that's it for them. Mm-hmm. This country will not tolerate this. You're straight exactly. away thrown out of here. You're deported, finished, you know.